Good evening. Good evening. Hello, Good evening. how are you? Okay, so welcome to our session number two. Thank you very much for joining. Okay, we're about to, to start. Sorry for those two minutes, because actually it was loading, but I'm here, okay? So thank you for joining. Welcome, Lester. Welcome, Kenya. Welcome, uh, Kenya Kandai and Kenya Acevedo. I think they are two. Welcome, Mariana. Welcome, Rene, Miguel, Alison, Ada, and Janira. Thank you very much for joining. Welcome to the class. So uh, let me begin. Let me begin with a question. How was your day? How was your day? Let's see. Um, Kenya, Kenya Kandai, how was your day? How was it? What do you do? Hi. Hi. Tell me, what do you do? It was a good day. It was a good day. Oh, I'm glad to hear that. Excellent. I'm really, really glad to hear that. And what about you? Let's see, Omar. Welcome, Omar. How was your day? What do you do? Um, good, uh, good evening. Good evening. Um, um, today, um, I'm staying in home because, um, I feel a little bit sick. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Uh, thank you. Okay. Um, actually work in a Starbucks. Oh, okay. And it's very hard. <laughs> yes, I guess, and, you know, customer service and, you know, doing so many things, right? Yes, the customer service is the, for me, is the worst, the worst job. <laughs> <laughs> you don't like it. So-so. Uh, so-so. Uh, so -so. uh, different kind of people um, with different uh, behavior and emotions it's very difficult sometimes because um, not all the people it's funny or smile with me of course. <clears throat> and in other in a other way are people that uh, that are so angry or stress it <laughs> it's true no and 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 uh, well we gotta be patient right but don't worry you will see sometimes we have good days sometimes we have bad days but you will yeah. feel better and that's the most important thing that you're that now you're at home and that you're resting right so and that you are in your session number two so welcome welcome uh, omar thank you very much for sharing that with me okay <laughs> and then the last person i will ask uh, rocio Rocio, how are you? How was your day? What do you do? Hi. Hello, teacher. I'm fine. My day is was uh, very busy, but I am fine. Thank you. Ready for the class. Excellent. Thank you very much, Rocio. Welcome. Okay. So Thank you. you're welcome. Any volunteer, any other volunteer that want to share with the class about your day? How was your day? What do you do? Hello. Uh, let's see, Alison. Alison, are you there? Oh, there was someone, someone there. Can can me iba a contar ahí cómo le fue su día? Let's see. Go ahead. Uh, hi, Miguel. Hi. hi. Good night. Good evening. Uh, good evening. Good evening. Sorry, uh, I was doing the presentation for my defense of my thesis. Oh, really? Well, well, congratulations. You know to. Uh, for you to be able to get to that step in your life, okay? Congratulations. So, and how did it go? Thank you. You're welcome. How did it go? ¿Cómo le fue? Uh, fine. I was working now um, in the presentation. Um, and what did you study, Miguel? What was the major? What was the, What is the name of the major? What did you study? 
qué estudió? ¿Qué, qué carrera se, se está ya eh, casi que graduando? Eh, química, ingeniería en química. Wow, congratulations. That's good. That's, Thank that's, you. Yeah, that, that's something good for you. It's a great achievement, right? Un gran logro. So, thank you very much for sharing that Thank with you. the class. You're welcome. So, well, I'm glad that you're here because today, well, again, we're going to um, continue with uh, yesterday's class, right? So, oops, yeah. So, I don't know, guys. Well, this is kind of my agenda right now. If, do you have any questions with the platform? Have you encountered any situation, you know, something difficult? Or do you have, um, you know, a specific questions about the topics that you uh, found there? Is there something like that that you would like to know, you would like to clarify? Uh, I want to say something. Um, okay. I have, uh, I just have problems to log in in the, in the platform. Mm -hmm. I, I didn't can. Okay, I don't. I couldn't. I, I couldn't. couldn't. I couldn't uh, log in. And what message do you get? I get the message to um, activate the the my the my yes the account and and I try uh, um, by the basis several times several, <laughs> several, several times, times yes and and I couldn't log in. Okay, can you do me a favor, Lester? Can you go ahead and try to access one more time? Take a screenshot, right? Tome una captura de pantalla, take a screenshot, and okay. then please send it to the chat, okay? And okay. Um, one of, uh, you know, uno de nuestros compañeros tendría que podernos ayudar. Así que usted mándalo ahí y pues si no lo hacen ellos, pues ya vamos a ver cómo le, le ayudamos. Porque a veces ellos están ocupaditos, ¿verdad? Atendiendo también a otros students, pero si están pues disponibles, con mucho gusto le van a poder colaborar. Y si no, pues después de la clase vemos cómo hacemos para que usted pueda accesar. But thank you very much, Lester, for letting me know, ¿ok? But okay. please take the screenshot and send it to the chat, ¿ok? Ok. okay Excelente. Okay. So someone else, any problem with the platform? Something that you would like to clarify or to, you know, algo que quiera reportar, verdad? No? I don't know. Okay, not yet, verdad? Todavía no, not yet. Excellent. So um, what uh, we did yesterday, we talked a little bit about the, uh, the simple past of the bird to be. Uy, there is a typo there. Let me correct it right now. Give me one moment. This is going to be simple past. I was typing very fast. <clears throat> OK, there we go. So we talked a little bit about the simple passive verb to be yesterday and other verbs. Now in the chat, what I did is that I shared with you like a basic list and, um, well, I think they were two lists, right? Two lists that I uh, shared with you through the chat for you to um, go ahead and practice with verbs, especially irregular verbs, okay? So today we're going to do some practice with simple past, okay? But before I do that, I would like to just to have a, a, a quick review on what we did yesterday, right? So yesterday we were talking about the simple passive verb be, right? And it's easier because we only have two forms. We got, we, we only have was and where, right? So for me to be able to create my sentences in simple past with the verb to be, all what I need to do is to include the elements that you can see there, okay? So for instance, I can go ahead and um, say something like this, oops, okay? I can say, I was tired yesterday night, okay? I was tired yesterday night, or I can say, I wasn't, oops, I wasn't, um, you know, comfortable. I wasn't comfortable with the situation. Let's say that 
you know, I was having a problem, I was having like an argument, right? Una discusión con alguien, I wasn't comfortable with the situation. And then I can say, um, I can ask, right? Were you in the house yesterday? Were you in the house yesterday, right? So all my elements need to be included here. So if I got my subject, I got, Give me one moment. Let me close this. There you go. So I got my subject, and then I need to include my verb to be and my complement, right? For negative statements, I do the same. The only difference is that I use the negative form of the verb to be. And then I can do, I mean, I can create my questions, but there is a switch, and the verb to be comes before the subject, right? But uh, I mean, to do this, um, I have like two types of questions, okay? Two types of questions. So I can go ahead and ask a yes, no question, right? Like this. I can say, um, did you go to work? Did you go to work? Okay, so let's see. Uh, Ada, Ada, did you go to work today? Did you go to work today, Ada? No, I did. No, I didn't. Okay, very good. No. I didn't. I didn't. Excellent. Thank you very much, Ada. Very kind. Muy amable. Okay. So I can ask that, right? Or I can go ahead and ask, um, did, oops, did, you um, prepare a report, okay? Do you prepare a report? Well, let's go ahead and be more specific. Do you prepare the report, Bryant? Do you prepare the report? Hello, yes, Brian. Yes, I prepared the report. Okay, and then I can say yes. Yes, well, I did. Yes, I did, very good. Now, those are just not questions, right? And this is the formula that you need to use to make up your just not questions. You got the verb to be, your subject, your complement, and your question mark. But also we have something that we called information questions, right? The information question is a little bit different because actually I am not going to get a yes or no as an answer like with a yes no question. What I'm going to look, for, well, what I'm going to get is just that piece of information that I need, okay? And to do that, oops, sorry, I forgot to close this. To do that, I need to add one of my WH words, right? So I got where, what, when, why, et cetera, right? And I can go ahead and add that before the elements in my sentence or in my question, right? So when I when it comes to, oops, sorry. Okay. When it comes to the just now, to the information question, I'm sorry, uh, all what I have to do, right, is to add that in my question, for example, I can ask, René Guevara, René. Okay, I can say, where, my goodness, les estoy poniendo los ejemplos de las yes no questions eh, de la siguiente slide. I'm sorry, guys. Okay, let me go ahead and remove that. Give me one moment. Ahí está, okay. With a question, I'm sorry. Ese es para la siguiente slide. Ya me estoy adelantando, I'm sorry. Let me go ahead and add the test, the text, I'm sorry. And we're going to make up questions again, negative statements, right? In questions with per to be, okay? So eh, I was saying that we have just no questions and that we have um, information questions. So just no question can be, are, well, were you in class yesterday? Uh, Mariana Aguilar, were you in class yesterday? Yes, I was. Oh, very good. Yes, I was. Okay. Thank you. Were you in your house today in the morning? Let's see. Um, Carla Hernandez, were you in your house today in the morning? 
No, I wasn't. Okay, very good. No, I, oops. No, I wasn't. Excellent, okay? No, I wasn't. So these are my just no questions, okay? And the same, um, you know, uh, is applicable for the second slide. Porque aquí estamos hablando de verb to be, con solo verb to be, I'm sorry. En la próxima slide vamos a hablar de verb to be, perdón, del simple past con todos los demás verbos, okay? But if I want to get an information question, I have to do something like this. Where were you um, in the afternoon? In the afternoon. Where were you in the afternoon, Rocio? Where were you in the afternoon? I was in my house. Okay, I was in... Where you? Where were you in the afternoon? Sorry. She... I'm sorry, I was in my house. Okay, very good. Entonces, lo que yo estoy obteniendo ahí no es un sí o un no. I'm, I'm not getting a yes, no answer, right? I'm getting the piece of information that I'm looking for, and that is where, right? Location, right? So, I was in my house. Excellent. Now, the same thing is what we're going to do with the second slide. This is only for simple past of verb B, of verb B, and then we're going to talk about the simple past with other verbs. Now, it's going to be the same. The only difference is that, recuerden que el verb to be is independent, right? Es independiente, no necesita ayuda de nadie, por decirlo así, right? El solito puede ser positive, el solito se puede hacer negativo, y el solito puede también eh, convertirse en pregunta, right? But with the rest of the verbs, we cannot do that, right? It's totally different. Okay, why? Because we need some help. We do need help, right? So we got our subject, we got the verb in past. Now, uh, let's see, Giselle, Giselle Abigail, are you there? Yes. Very good, so Giselle, what are the two types of verbs that we have in, um, in simple past? Can you repeat mental, please? Yes, of course. Right. What are the two types of verbs that we have in simple past? Two types of verbs. Do you know them? Si no, no se preocupe, no hay problema. No. No, don't worry. What about you, Dani Sandoval? What about you? What are the two types of verbs that we have in, in English What when it comes to simple past? Danny, are you there? Yes, yes, sorry. Um, Don't worry, it's okay. The past? Yes. Um, we have, what type of verb? A no? simple past. Mm -hmm. And a past tense. Okay, that's true. I mean, we have the past tense, but also we got the regular and irregular verbs, right? So thank you very much. Thank you very much, guys. Don't worry. Si no tienen la okay. no hay problema. Mm -hmm. Tranquilos. So that is correct. We got regular and irregular verbs, okay? So if we got regular verbs, we know that we are going to add ed, right, to the verb or ied, um, depending on the type of verb that we have. And then we got, we're going to have our complement. This is the only section in which we're going to use our simple past form. Why? Because when I want to, to say a negative statement in simple past or a question, okay, I'm going to use an auxiliary. In this case, if I want to make up a negative sentence, that's going to be an auxiliary, and then my verb. And the BF is not for best friend, decíamos ayer, pero no es de mejor amigo, sino que es base form. La forma base del verbo significa sin ninguna conjugación, right? But when it comes to questions, it's going to be the same. I'm going to use my auxiliary deed, my subject, my verb in the base form, my complement and my question mark. Pero lo mismo, si yo quiero hacer una just not question, okay, I'm going to ask like this. Did you go to work today? Y por ahí me dijeron, no, I didn't, okay? Did you go to work today? No, I didn't. Or did you do the homework? Did you do the homework? No, I didn't, right? 
Pero si quiero preguntar una information question, entonces my WH word will come at the beginning. Va antes que todo lo demás. Okay? That's going to be for my just now question. Okay? Uh, then, okay, it's going to be, uh, I have like a, like a very quick uh, exercise. So this is going to be like this. Um, you're going to pick one subject and a verb, right, on the upper section, right? So let's go ahead and, uh, you know, type an example here. It's gonna be my text. For example, let's say that I get my subject. Digamos que uno de los subjects que yo tengo a mi izquierda, on my left, eh, is my daughter, okay, my daughter. Y voy a escoger un verbo de la parte de arriba. I'm going to pick make, okay? So my daughter made a cake for me, okay? Negative, my daughter didn't, oops, didn't make a uh, apple pie, right? Because actually she made a, she made a cake. Right? Did my daughter make a cake for me? Okay, in this case, yes, she did, right? So this is going to be kind of an example of what I want you to do, but of course, in this case, it's going to be in a normal way, okay? So I'm, go I'm going to um, allow you to go ahead and participate. Remember, you have to make up your positive, your negative, and your question using the simple past, okay, as we were, um, you know, uh, reviewing it before. So let me go ahead and delete this from here. Well, uh, let's go ahead and leave it here para que nos quede de ejemplo. Lo voy a dejar ahí para mientras. Okay, I'm going to close here and let's start with your participation. So let me see, Monica. Monica Solorzano, are you there? Yes. Hi, Monica. Okay, let's start with you. <laughs> Please pick one of your subjects okay. and then pick one of your verbs. Yeah. And I have to make a, a question or an affirmative sentence. So. It's going to be affirmative, negative, and question. Como lo ve, hay un ejemplo que les he dejado en una esquinita aparte. My daughter made a, cake, made a cake for me. My daughter didn't make a cake for me. Did my daughter make a cake for me? Right? So positive, negative, and question form, Monica. Okay. So, my brother. My brother. Um, my brother. Um, a study. I'm sorry, I'm really a bit nervous. You want to listen to your um, classmates first? Le gustaría escuchar otros ejemplos con sus compañeros y luego la vuelvo a, a llamar? Yes, uh, yes, I like to do that. <laughs> okay, very good. Yes, no please. problem. No problem. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. What about you, Kenia Acevedo? Kenia, can you go ahead and pick a subject and then a verb? Uh, good evening. Good evening. Yes, I, I would like to make the sentence with I, the subject I, and the verb go. Go, okay, very good. Excellent. Okay. And positive, I went to Guatemala with my family Excellent. last year. And negative, I didn't go Guatemala with my family last year. And the question, um, did I go to Guatemala with my family last year? Excellent, okay, that is correct. So in your case, let's see if we got something here. Oh, no, there were no points, uh, Kenya, but great job. Okay, great sentences. Thank you very much. Now, Rocio, you were raising your hand and then Giselle. So, Rocio, can you go ahead and pick your subject and your verb? Okay. And 
The subject is I. I, okay. And the verb is buy. Okay, very good. Okay. I bought a new cell phone yesterday. Great. I didn't buy a new cell phone yesterday. Did I buy a new cell phone yesterday? Excellent. Good job. Okay. Well, in your case, you got 100 points. Okay. Good job. Excellent. Thank you. Then Giselle, um, she was raising her hand. Okay. And then I'm going to continue with the rest. Okay. After Giselle, we're going to have Carla. So Giselle, please go ahead and uh, pick your subject and your verb. Are you there, Giselle? I, I, yes. Okay. Yes. Yes. Um, and the uh, subject, uh, it's my mom, and I would like to use go. Okay. Can I? Good. Yes, of course. Okay. And my mom, my mom went to the mall today. My mom didn't. My mom didn't go to the mall today. And did my mom uh, go to the mall today? Very good. Okay. Thank you very much, so And I'm sorry, but there were no points there. But good job. Thank you. And then I think it was Carla's turn, right? Yeah. Go ahead. Um, my subject is my brother. Uh, my brother got up very late in the morning and my brother didn't get up early. Did my brother get up very early? Yes. Excellent. Good job. Thank you very much. Okay. But there were no points there. And I'm sorry. Si de repente ven um, que mi mirada está acá es porque acá tengo la presentación de PowerPoint y aquí los tengo ustedes, okay? So I am switching, right? So I got two monitors, that's why. Uh, very good, so thank you. Rocio, you were raising your hand, so go ahead, please. Okay, the subject is Helen and Tom, mm -hmm. and the bird is make. Make, okay, go ahead. Okay. Helen and Tone make a trip yesterday. Okay. Good. Helen and Tone didn't make a, a trip yesterday. Mm -hmm. Helen and did Helen and Tone make a trip yesterday? Okay, very good. Excellent. Let me go ahead and see if I got something here. It was make. Let's see. No, actually there were no points, okay? I was checking here if it was possible to use make a trip. And yes, make a trip is to refer to an errand, okay? Podemos uh, usar make a trip, dice acá, when, for example, we ran out of milk. So I made a trip to the store. Se me acabó la leche, ah, tengo que ir al super. Right, so, um, that's that's something uh, I didn't know, by the way. So make a trip referred to an errand, o sea, hacer un mandado, right? That's okay. We okay. It. Uh -huh. Good job. So let me go ahead and share it with you to through the chat. Okay. Let me see. Sorry. ¿Qué está chat? And we're going to be working in the breakout rooms. Ya casi vamos a trabajar en los breakout rooms. Just give me one moment. Again, in the breakout rooms, traten de interactuar lo más que puedan, ¿verdad? Ese es un tiempo para ustedes, para que puedan practicar entre ustedes. Excellent. So thank you very much. I already shared that through the chat, okay? So who is the next volunteer? Volunteer, raise your hand. Raise your hand. No one else? Okay, so I'm going to pick you and, oh, well, thank you, Danny. Danny Sandoval, go ahead. <laughs> thank you, teacher. You're welcome, and, Danny, go ahead. And my brother is study anthropologic. Okay. But he doesn't his homework today. But doesn't is for a affirmative, right? 
Because actually, in this case, you have to use didn't, right? Didn't. Mm -hmm. My brother didn't his homework. My brother didn't. But uh, since you are using the verb study, you have to make up your sentence with the verb study. For example, if you say, my brother didn't do the homework, right? El verbo oh, sería right. do. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Um, I'm lost. Oh, no, don't worry. Don't worry, Danny. Okay, so let's go ahead and, and make up your questions, your sentences. So my brother, my brother studied. You said, uh, you can say he studied today in the morning. Okay, my brother studied in the morning. Okay, then my negative sentence would be my brother didn't study in the afternoon. Okay, my brother didn't study in the afternoon. Y mi pregunta sería, did my brother study in the morning? And then, yes, he did, porque sí lo hizo en la mañana, right? So, uh, you have to remember the structure, right? Uh, okay. La estructura que hemos estado manejando, que es subject, verb in past, complemento. Si es negativo, es subject, my auxiliary didn't, luego mi verbo en forma base, base form, and the complement. Y luego en la pregunta hay un switch, hay un cambio, ¿verdad? The auxiliary comes at the beginning, ¿verdad? Primero viene el auxiliar, luego viene mi subject, my verb, and the complement. Como el ejemplo que puede ver en la esquinita de la pantalla. My daughter made a cake for me. My daughter didn't make it an, an apple pie. Ahí me, hace, me hizo falta la letra A, perdón, es un typo. My daughter didn't make an apple pie. Did my daughter make a cake for me? Yes, she did, right? So that's, that, that's the structure that we're working on right now, Danny, okay? Okay. So yeah. um, let's go ahead and see if you got something here. No, no points, but thank you, Danny. <laughs> but still, yeah. I, I, le respondí su pregunta, le quedó un poquito más claro? Yes, 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 teacher. Okay, you're very welcome. So let's go ahead yes, and see. You. You're welcome. Blanca, Blanca, what about you? What about you, Blanca? Blanca de Sandoval, I think. Mm -hmm. Are you there, Blanca? Well, it seems she's not there, okay? Uh, she is, let... not, she yeah. is not my wife. Huh? She is not my wife. She's not your wife. Okay, very good. What about what about you, Brian? What about you? Did you already participate? Yeah. Ah, uh, yeah, you yeah. did. You were the first one. What about you, Janita? Yes, teacher. Go ahead and pick your subject. Um, Helen and Tom, uh, the pair go. Okay, Helen and Tom and go. Very good. Okay. Helen and Tom went to the party last night. Okay. Helen and Tom didn't go to the supermarket. Did Helen and Tom, and Tom go to the party last night? Okay, very good. Good job. Thank you. Okay, let's see. And sorry, Anira, but there were no points there. But thank you very much for your participation. Okay. What about you? Let's see, Allison. Allison, did you already participate? Hello. Yeah. Very good. So let's go ahead and pick a subject and a verb. Um, for example, my brother studied French at university. Okay. Um, my brother didn't at university. Didn't, but it's the verb study, porque el verbo study ya no está disponible. Uh, um, my brother brother go to wait on the weekend? My brother? My brother go to bed on the weekend. Okay, my brother went. Remember that the simple past of your, I mean, the simple past of the verb go is went, right? So my brother went to the beach, right? Okay, very good. Negativa, ¿cómo nos quedaría? Negative. Didn't? Mm -hmm. My brother. My brother didn't. When? My brother didn't. My brother. My brother didn't. 
On the weekend? Okay. Now remember uh, that in this case, um, when we are when we are uh, you know creating our negative sentences, we have to use the auxiliary. Cuando nosotros tenemos un auxiliar, no modificamos nuestro verbo porque está, el auxiliar mismo cumple la función, ¿verdad? En este caso, solamente en las oraciones afirmativas, yo voy a pasar mi verbo a pasado, ¿verdad? Um, eh, my brother went to the beach, right? Pero en negativa, my brother didn't go. Ahí ya no modifico mi verbo porque didn't está cumpliendo la función de convertirme esa oración en, en primero en pasado y luego negativa, right? My brother didn't go to the beach, ¿ok? Y en la pregunta, ¿cómo nos quedaría? Did my brother go to the beach? Go to the beach. Excellent, very good. Good job, that is correct. So let's go ahead and see if we got something here. Okay, we got 20 points. Thank you very much. Carla Hernandez. Carla Hernandez, she's raising her hand. So please go ahead, Carla. Okay, my mom made me a pie to my birthday. For, for my birthday. Uh, for my birthday, my mom didn't make me a, a pie. Did my mom make me a pie? Yes, she did. Okay, very good. Did my mom made a... um. A pie, right? Okay, very good. Did my mom. So, Rene, what about you? Go ahead, Rene. Good evening. Good evening. And Helen and Tom bought a car. Helen and Tom didn't buy a car. Okay. Did, did Helen and Tom buy a car? Okay, very good. That is correct. We don't change our verb when we use auxiliaries, right? So let's go ahead and we got something here. And no, actually no points, but thank you very much, Renee. Volunteer, another volunteer. Here I have other examples. Okay, go ahead. Okay, and my mom got up at seven o'clock today. Got, my mom got up. Got up. Mm -hmm. My mom didn't get up at seven clock today okay did my mom get up at seven o'clock today very good good job my mom and get up let's see oh but there were no points there but thank you very very <laughs> much okay good job okay i think it was rocio rocio you were raising your hand okay my brother okay my brother mm -hmm. okay no, I can, can I change the, the subject? <laughs> yes, of course. Okay. Uh, will be, I. Okay. I, okay. I, yes. I got up uh, very later yesterday. I got home. I got home very late. Okay. I didn't get out later yesterday. I didn't get out late. Late, okay. Continue. Did I did I get out late yesterday? Did I did I go? Did I go? Right? Me está queriendo decir que usted salió o no que no salió, get perdón. Up. Get up. Oh, get up. I'm sorry. Yes. I'm sorry. I got confused. I got confused. My apologies. Okay, so can you repeat them one more time? I'm sorry. One okay. more time. Mm -hmm. I got up late yesterday. Okay. I didn't get up late yesterday. Good job. Uh -huh. Did I get up late yesterday? Okay, now I understand. Thank you very much for clarifying that. Okay. okay, thank you. And let's see. Oh, okay, you got 60 points. Very good. Thank you very much, okay? So let's continue. Who's raising the hand? Is it Mariana? Yes, good evening. Good evening. Hello, Mariana. Go ahead. I choose I and make. I can make. Very good. Go ahead. I made the dinner last night. I didn't make the dinner last night. Did I make the dinner last night? Okay, 
Very good. That is correct. All the sentences are correct. Thank you. Let's see. I and May. Let's see. Oh, I'm sorry, Mariana, but there were no points there. Okay. So one more um, volunteer. Thank Teacher, you, Mariana. I have a doubt. Go ahead. I choose the subject my mom and I choose the verb make, but you you didn't uncover it. I didn't uncover that. Oh, yeah. Don't worry, I'll do it right now. Oh, I'm sorry, but there were no points there. Okay, my, I'm sorry, I didn't notice that I um, didn't remove that for you to see if there were points. But no, I'm sorry, there were no points. Okay, uh, would you like to try one more time? Hi. Go ahead. I got up very early today. Okay. I didn't get up early yesterday. But you see, I and get up ya está, to, ya está tomado por si quería tomar uno que no estuviese utilizado. So, after. <laughs> oh, later. Okay, no problem, no problem. So let's see someone else, someone else who wants to participate. Me. Go ahead. Okay. Um, my mom made a pizza. Okay. My mom didn't make a pizza. Mm -hmm. Did my mom make a pizza? Okay, very good. Let me go ahead and uncover that. Oops. Where is it? Give me one moment. I guess my mom made. Okay, you got 10 points. Very good. Okay, very good. What about you, Blanca? Um, my brother buy a new car. My brother? My brother buy, buy a new car. My brother didn't buy a new car. Uh, didn't my brother buy, buy a new car? Okay, the examples are, are, are good, but just in the affirmative, remember that the simple past of buy is bought, right? So my brother bought a new car, right? My brother bought, Hi. compro in past, right? That is correct, okay? So uh, thank you very much. And that's, let's see, my brother and bought. Oh, but there were no points there. Okay, so very quickly, very quickly, let's go ahead and end the the exercise so we can move to the breakout room for the speaking uh, session. So Brian, please, can you help me with one of those? Yes. Thank you. My mom bought a pizza for the dinner today. Delicious. My mom didn't buy buy a pizza for the dinner today. Mm -hmm. they ma did my mother buy a pizza for the dinner today? Okay, yes, very good. Did. Yes, she did, so she did, okay. My mom and uh, buy, right? So for, for dinner, right? Seeing a duh, for, just for dinner. Yeah. Good job, and you got 70 points. Thank you very much, Ryan, okay? Mm -hmm. And what about you, let's see, uh, Rene, are you there? Yes, teacher. Go ahead. Can you help us, please? Um, let's see. I, um, Helen and Tom started medicine. Okay. Uh, Helen and Tom didn't start in medicine. Good. Helen did. Helen and Tom study medicine. Excellent, very good, study it, right, in the affirmative form, and you got 80 points, very good. What about you, Kenya? Well, Kenya Andrade or Acevedo, cualquiera de las dos, no hay problema. Thank you, Kenya. Hi. Hi. With my mom. My mom. Um, my mom studied French. Uh, French. My mom studied French. Okay. Yes. Uh, my mom didn't study French. And uh, did my mom study French? Okay, mm -hmm. excellent. Very good. Thank you, Kenny. And you got 50 points. Okay, excellent. Excellent. Good job. What about you, Lester? Can you help me with one? 
Thank you, Kenya. Uh, yes. Um, okay. I will choose I and the verb study. Okay. So I study, no, I studied, studied um, English yesterday. Very good. I study English today. And did I study English yesterday? Okay. Yes, I do. Very good. Okay. So just a negative, right? You, uh, we have to include the didn't, right? I didn't study. Okay. I didn't study. And did I study? Okay. Study. Very study. good job. Study. So, but there were no points there, but thank you. And the last one, volunteer for the last one. Volunteer, raise your hand. Yeah. Okay. No se va a arrepentir. Okay. Rocio, go ahead. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Helen and son got up early today. Helen and Tom didn't get up early today. Mm -hmm. Did Helen and Tom get, get up early today? Good job, eh? You got the 200 points, Rocio. Vio que le dije que no se iba a arrepentir. Good job, okay? Excellent. You um, have a clear idea on how to use the simple task, right? And right now what I'm going to do is that I'm going to move you to the breakout rooms. There will be some questions, okay, that you're going to discuss with your classmates. Just let me stop sharing here. And I'm going to move you right now. Just give me one moment. That's going to be... Uh, three, six, nine, twelve. I think probably three of you can be together. I'll create. Give me one moment. Just let me go ahead and see. I'm going to give you probably um, five minutes, but I'm going to be jumping. Voy a pasar en cada uno de los breakout rooms. Okay, and. Bueno, cuatro minutos. Demos unos cuatro minutos y luego terminamos acá la, la interacción, ¿ok? Bueno, fine. Give me one moment. Y les dará 60 segundos para que ustedes vean que ya van a terminar. I'm going to share first in the chat uh, the, the questions before we move. There you go. Okay, so take a look at the chat, verdad? And then I will I will move through the breakout rooms to check that you are uh, discussing those questions, okay? There you go. Okay, so there you have guys, uh, this is breakup room number two, breakup room number two, okay? So please, everybody start asking the questions you already have them in the chat, okay? Danny, you can, uh, well, Blanca, you can go ahead and start talking with Omar or with Monica. Uh, also, Danny, you can go ahead and participate, right? The idea is for you to practice, okay?
my last paragraph. Uh, I my was the I was the last paragraph I took. Uh, Hi. Hi, Mariana. You can go ahead and ask your question, or someone can ask you a question, right? So you can go ahead and participate. Yes, we already make some questions, but I think Kenya can't listen to me. <laughs> oh, Kenya, can you listen to Mariana? Are you there? I I I listened uh, to Mariana, but I I don't um. hear very well uh, the question you the didn't listen okay okay can you repeat the last kenya. question oh from kenya but don't worry it's okay you can ask a different question the idea is for you to participate okay mm -hmm. uh, brian when did you last see the i difficult uh, pronunciation the um me cuesta me cuesta un poco como distinguir la, la, lo, lo, escuchar como identificar verdad lo que traducir digamos cuando es de leer mm -hmm. como que es más me, se me hace más fácil pero el, el poder traducir lo que dicen es que ahí donde se me dificulta mucho it's normal Branca it's normal, don't worry. Don't worry, exactly. It's normal. At the beginning, al principio va a ser así, mm -hmm. pero mi recomendación siempre es listen to video. Okay, hay que escuchar videos. Escuchar, hay que escuchar. Uh -huh. so you can go ahead and have a better idea, right, on pronunciation, and you can get familiar with it. Right? Para familiarizarse más que todo con, uh, sí. con los contenidos, ¿verdad? Okay, sí, so yeah. you got, you got okay. only 50 seconds, okay? 50 seconds. Okay, I can see that some of you are coming back to the main room. So welcome, welcome back. I could hear that some of you were practicing. So thank you very much. And well, the idea is for you to put into practice simple past. Now, uh, probably at the end of the class, what I would like to do is just to have a quick introduction of the topic that we're going to be discussing yet, uh, tomorrow, right? Which is used to, right? So do you know when is that we use um, used to write in our sentences? What comes to your mind? What do you know about used to? Para que usamos used to, right? How do we use it for? I mean, why do we use it for? O por qué, verdad? Anyone? Can I speak in Spanish? <laughs> yes. Go ahead. Ok, utilizamos el used to para expresar este, cosas que solíamos hacer en el pasado. Por ejemplo, I used to play in my childhood with my friends. Uh, when I was a child, I used to uh, go to bed late, etc. Okay. <laughs> Excellent. Ok, so I'm typing in the chat. And actually, as uh, I think it was Rocio, she was, uh, as she was saying, we got, we use used to, to talk about habits, habits from the past, right? Things that we, um, we do in the past, but that we don't do anymore, right? So that's when we use used to. So don't forget to uh, complete those exercises from the, from the platform, right? Uh, tomorrow we're going to um, use, this expression, right, or, or this uh, grammar, um, you know, um, I would say a section, right, to go ahead and have a review, right? But please go to the platform so you can have a better idea. 
also um, a, remember that during the first week we are going to be working with sections one, two, and three, right? So the first week it's going to be, you know, a little bit harder because you have we have to complete sections one, two, and three. And then next week we're going to be working with the midterm exam, right? I know that you are already used to it, but um, the idea is to complete the exercise in the platform, but also understand each of the topics that are included there, right? And um, that's one of the things that we're going to be discussing tomorrow. But still, if you have any questions, you can go ahead and let me know through the chat or you can send me an email to my personal email and I'll be glad to go ahead and answer. Si de repente, pues, eh, no puedo responder, igual yo siempre reviso más tarde, right? And check the list that I shared with you through WhatsApp today, because um, it's it would be it would be wonderful, right, for you to handle all, um, you know, the most common verbs, right, in simple past. As I was sharing with you before, we have regular and regular verbs, uh, but you know, irregular verbs, they need to be learned by heart, right? So you have to memorize them and you can go ahead and do that. Just practice a lot, okay? So uh, do you have any questions about today's session? Something that uh, you would like to know? Is everything clear? Like water, right? <laughs> do you have any questions? Yes. I think that we are a little confused about the regulars and irregular verbs. Oh, okay. Because we don't have clear what is the correct form in order to use them. Excellent. So, you know what, Rocio, thank you very much for that. Let's go ahead and start tomorrow's class with regular and irregular verb, okay? Mañana comenzamos entonces con ese tema, so we can have a, a, a better idea on, about that topic, okay? Okay. okay. Excellent. So, uh, guys, thank you very much for joining. Okay, uh, today, um, tomorrow we're going to start with regular and irregular verbs. Practice your list. Okay, practice the list. Awesome. And tomorrow we're going to continue. Thank you very much for joining, and I'll, I'll see you tomorrow. I'll meet you tomorrow. Okay. Okay, teacher. Thank you. You're welcome. Good night. 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 You are very Good night. nice. You're very welcome, Danny. Take care. Rest, okay? Bye-bye.